In today's video, I'll be showing you 10 methods to resolve issues with MotoGP 2022 crashing, freezing and not launching on your Windows computer. So the first thing that you need to do is ensure that Windows is up to date. And to do this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then click on settings. You now need to click on update and security. And you then need to click on the check for updates button. And if Windows does detect any new updates, it will then begin to download and install them. So allow this to run and once it's finished, restart your computer and launch MotoGP and see if that helped resolve the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is ensure you have the latest driver installed for your graphics card. So I will pop the links in the description below to where you can download a driver for an Nvidia graphics card, AMD graphics card, and also Intel. If you're not sure what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can find this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting device manager. You now need to expand display adapters. And as you can see, I have an Nvidia graphics card, which means I would need to click on the Nvidia link in the description below. And I'll then need to search for the GTX 1660 Super driver. If you do have the latest driver installed for your graphics card, then the next thing to do is install a previous driver, as it could be an issue with the latest driver that's causing MotoGP 22 to crash on your computer. So once you've done all that and updated or installed the previous driver, launch the game and then see if that fixed the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is ensure that your security software is not being the cause of the issue. So a lot of times security can block a game from running properly, which will then make the game crash or not launch. So if you do have a third party security program installed, disable this security software and then launch the game and see if that helped. If that did fix the issue, then you will need to add the game to the exclusion list on your security software. Just keep in mind when you do have your security disabled or paused, you are not protected from security threats. If you do have an option to enable a game mode or a passive mode, then go ahead and give that a try instead. If you're using the Windows security, then you can pause this by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting settings. You then need to go to update and security and you now need to select Windows security and then click on open Windows security. The next thing that you need to do is select virus and threat protection. And you then need to scroll down and you now need to select manage settings under virus and threat protection settings. And you now need to toggle real time protection to off. You can also turn off the other options as well, but just keep in mind that you will need to turn these options here, cloud and automatic sample. And if you did have tamper protection on as well, you will need to turn these back on. Real time protection will turn on by itself when you restart Windows or once you have tested the game, then just toggle it back to on. So once you've done all that, and if it wasn't your security software that's causing the issue, then the next thing that you need to do is ensure you don't have anything open when you launch the game. If you do have a program open, this could be conflicting with MotoGP 22, causing it to crash or not launch. So if you have anything open like OBS, Discord or MSI Afterburner, just completely shut down these programs and then launch the game and see if that helped. If that didn't, then the next thing that you need to do is open up the start menu and you now need to type in power and then space and then plan. You now need to select choose a power plan and you now need to go ahead and select the high performance option. As you can see, I do have the ultimate performance option enabled, which is actually hidden in Windows and I will drop the links in the description below on how you can enable that option as well, if you're interested. So if you are using the power saver mode or balance, then change it to high performance. This can not only increase the performance in the game, but it can also resolve some of those problems you are facing. So once you've done all that, and if that didn't help resolve the issue you're having with MotoGP 22, you now need to just unplug all the devices that you currently have connected to your computer. So if you have a controller plugged in, a USB stick, a microphone, anything like that, unplug it all and then launch the game 
and see if that helped as one of these devices might be causing the game to crash. Also, if you do have a spare mouse and keyboard lying around, then swap your keyboard and mouse just in case it is your keyboard and mouse. So if that doesn't help, you now need to go to the location where you installed Motor GP. Once you're in the location where you installed Motor GP, you now need to right click on the Motor GP22.exe and go to properties. And you now need to go to compatibility and then tick run this program as an administrator and press apply and continue. Next, you need to go into the Motor GP22 folder, binaries, Win64. And you now need to right click on this .exe as well and go to properties, compatibility, run this program as an administrator, apply and OK. Now go ahead again and launch the game and see if that helped fix the issue. If that didn't help, then the next thing that you need to do is just ensure that you do not have any overclock settings applied to your hardware. If you do and you know how to, remove these overclock settings as they could be causing the issues with the game not launching and crashing. Once you've done that and if that didn't help, then you now need to open up Steam. Once you have Steam open, you now need to select your library. And you then need to find Motor GP 22 in your games list and right click on the game and go to properties. You now need to select local files. And then the next thing that you need to do is click on verify integrity of game files. This is now going to check all the game files for Motor GP 22 and ensure that none of them have become corrupt or missing. And if it does detect an issue, then it will attempt to resolve that problem. So once this is finished, launch the game and see if that helped fix the issue. If it didn't, then the next thing to do is to uninstall the game and install it to a different hard drive if you do have the option. If you don't, then just reinstall the game back to the same hard drive. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.